For the mounting part of this, we're going to be doing, we're going to use a, this is a standard door style hinge. And I'm going to place it down here. I managed to use one of the existing holes to hold it on. And then we have the other hole right there. And if you notice, I, when I drilled it, I drilled it kind of in an oval shape. That way it'll give us room to adjust because you don't know exactly how it's going to be sitting on the top of your bike or, you know, the, however you're going to mount it. And we want to make this pretty universal so you can put it on just about anything. So we'll do the bolts up on the uh, hinge here. The motor on its side. You notice when I get this mounted down, you'll have the bolt, and then you can adjust this bracket forward and backward just, you know, just a little bit. That's going to help you set the angle that the motor is going to ride on the wheel. Keep in mind, I'm going to try to do this project with uh, parts that you can get readily available just about anywhere. Uh, the only thing we're going to have to source from a unique place is uh, the controller, which will control the power going to the motor and work as the throttle. That way you don't have to run it 100% all the time. But, you know, door hinge you can find at a hardware store. These Razor scooters... A lot of these motors, I mean, you can find them just about anywhere. Uh, some really good motors that you can use for uh, building electric bikes are these old 250-watt Razor scooter motors. And since they're 250-watt, I know some places in the world you can only do 250-watt maximum. So this works out, and you, know, you put it on anything. Uh, you can get these motors in different sizes. Uh, another good motor you can use is a cooling fan motor from a car, like a, like get one from a bigger truck, and if you bolt one or two of those together, those work out really good. Um, that would require a higher rated uh, power supply because it would be drawing a lot more amps at 12 volts. If you see this one is 250 watts and it puts out 14 amps, so if this was going to be 12 volts and a 250 watt motor, it would be doing 28 amps. Because half the uh, voltage, you double the amperage. But now we have the bracket hooked up. And what this is going to do is when it rides on the bike wheel, this will be mounted to the bicycle somewhere. And this will be able to go up and down and be on the wheel as you're riding down the road. And then we'll have a spring that tensions it up against the wheel so you know, it doesn't jump off as you're riding and lose traction because it's a friction drive. You want to have a little bit of pressure on it. And once we figure out, you know, I have another metal plate here that I'm going to use and we'll carve the bracket out of that. And what I'm probably going to do is cut it kind of diagonally right here and then up. And then we'll add a bunch of holes down the side to try to make it as universal as possible. And then when I put these kits together and I start to go to sell these kits, you will be able to have the same thing that we used here on the YouTube channel. That way it makes it a little easier and uh, you have a visual representation of what's happening.